Professor Utonium accidentally added an extra ingredient to the concoction. Chemical extra. Wait, this is the wrong show. Hi, Stan's Dance. My name is Stan. Welcome back to the world of extra. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Ew, another foreigner is doing a basic ass Japanese convenience store video. First and foremost, I'm Japanese. Also, for this video, I'm not just gonna be buying basic ass food. I actually wanna try to get full course balanced meals. And I'm also gonna be filming my crazy adventures throughout the day. I'm filming this video with my bestie Kenzo. So you guys are getting twice the meal. I'm also going to be buying from different convenience stores and not only from 7 Eleven. So you guys get to compare and contrast the different foods. Enjoy the video, bestie. Hi, you guys. So I have my mom over here and my bestie. We're going to the first convenience store for breakfast. It's currently 10 a.m. Time for breakfast. Too late. <laughs> I think we're gonna have a light breakfast. So the first convenience store we're going to is 7-Eleven. Let's waste no time and jump right into it. As you guys know, Shete Onse is the biggest convenience store chain in Japan, which just so happens to be my favorite convenience store. This salad chicken is one of my favorites, especially when I'm trying to get a quick, easy, on-the-go, low-key, healthy food. There's a lot of different flavors, so you don't have to get the same one each time. And there's also a plant-based option as well. This is one of my favorite sections. Lots of different salad options for bitches like me. Today, I'm getting the broccoli and squid. If you guys know anything about Japan, you guys know about onigiri, which are basically rice balls with different flavors. I love how Japan always thinks about people on the go. Mentaika! Our fish egg is my favorite of all time. I love getting these box juices because they're fairly cheap. If you see one product over here at the back, you can just pull this thing and this way. Like... You're actually not allowed to film in convenience stores in Japan, so today's gonna be a long day of getting told to not film. So my mom got a hijiki salad, which is a type of seaweed, some fish roe maki, a literal boiled egg, and a mini fish bento. I got myself a smoothie, mentaiko onigiri, octopusy salad, and a literal bar of chicken. Kenzo got some shrimp broccoli and tartar sauce, tuna mayo rice ball, and this very popular vegetable drink that actually contains one day worth of vegetables and fruits. Perfect for people on the go. Itadakimasu! <laughs> mmm! <laughs> It tastes fresh. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't feel processed. They change their products every like five hours. I'm not sure if it's five hours, but there's a certain amount of time a food can be like on the shelf. Shelf. If it goes past that, yeah. even if it's still good, they take it out. They throw it away? Yeah, they literally like throw it. Motte to dame? this. Really? Usually when I'm hungry but I don't have time, I usually get a rice ball and some sort of meat and I just eat them together. You have to be careful with these though because it has some juices inside, like some liquid inside. One of the things about Japan is they always, always have the amount of calories in every single food they sell. Even bentos, even rice balls, everything. They even have the nutritional information on the egg. So New Days is a convenience store, I think owned by JR. It's literally in every single train station. <laughs> We're gonna try to get coffee. Almost every convenience store in Japan has this coffee machine, but you always have to go buy the cups first. Oh my God, why do I look so buff from behind? You can get either hot or cold latte or black. I got a basic ass hot coffee and my friend a cold latte. You just put in the cup and press your desired button. Japan really trusts the customers to prepare their own drinks. Huh? Look at that coffee go. Mm. And then it was time to get the cold latte. We were a little bit shaken to the core because the machine literally wouldn't work. It was fucking broken. It finally worked when I pressed harder than my rock hard nipples, but it was all milk. 
and it finally sprinkled a little tiny bit of coffee. The iced coffee gays are not going to be happy when they hear about this. They used paper covers, which made me happy, and it was time to go. I literally never drink coffee, but today I just felt quirky. Hi, I'm quirky. Oh my god, it, the weather is so good today. It's so loud. Can you hear me? Hello? So we're gonna do the coffee taste test. I've never... <laughs> I really wanted to go to Starbucks to get the oat milk latte. He was like, yeah, you should just do it and not put it in the video. And I was like, I don't want to cheat. I don't know. I would give this a 6 out of 10. It's not good. It this tastes like... I don't know, I'm not a fucking coffee connoisseur or anything. Like, I don't fucking know about coffee. I don't know anything about coffee, but I fucking hate this. <laughs> and that, that's too much milk. Right, it was like 80% milk, 20% coffee, and it doesn't even fucking taste good. He doesn't know my birthday. I know your birthday. When is it? November 1. Oh, Lord. I know your birthday. It's September 9th. Oh, you searched it, huh? No, I didn't. <laughs> How do I even search it? Ah! Anyway, after walking for a little bit, we were getting a little bit tired. And what better place to chill than Family Mart? A lot of convenience stores in Japan have sitting areas. But of course, you have to buy something to use the area. But we weren't very hungry, so we wanted to get a small cheap snack. And of course, Japan is really good with that. I really enjoy these 72% dark chocolate because they're not that bad for you. Some convenience stores have really cute limited edition sweets. <laughs> I used to eat this all the time when I was obsessed with chocolates and still wanted to remain healthy because this is 72%. Can you see it? So what did we do last night? We bleached our armpit. It's gold though. I bleached my pubes. You did. It doesn't even look good. What's your number one talent? Overthinking. Um. Ew. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> They look cute. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> This is called Ampamang. Say with us. Ampamang. <laughs> We're gonna go to the beach. Yeah. Oh my God. Anyway, these rental bikes have been really popular recently. They're all over the city. And you can take and leave them at designated areas. You simply download an app they have, connect your credit card, find a bike, and enter the code shown on the app. It's that easy! I think it was only around a dollar per 30 minutes, which isn't that bad in my opinion. Because these are electric bikes, you can pedal super easily and use it for as long as the battery lasts. Oh my god, we're riding a bike around town. Not the bike vlog. Hi guys, so we're currently on the way to the beach. We're just biking very casually. We haven't had lunch and it's like 3 p.m. So we're gonna go look for a convenience store. What kind of food do you want to eat? I want to have like a light lunch. I could take anything. I think that's the good thing about the convenience store. You can like adjust to like how hungry you are. You don't really have to like commit and go to a restaurant and buy like a fat meal. You can just get something light from the convenience store. I'm so thirsty. What the fuck? Oh. Hey. Okay. Hey, okay. Hey. What the fuck? Wait a minute. It's lunch time! For lunch, we're getting food from Family Mart. I would say Family Mart is a close second in terms of my favorite convenience stores. They actually have a lot of variety in their products as well. First things first, my go-to drink, jasmine tea. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> Kenzo got another one of those fruit juices. Family Mart is quite known for their fried food, and it's actually one of the reasons I love Family Mart so much. I would recommend the spicy fried chicken. They had a cheese version, so we're trying that as well. Oh my god, I'm so cute. Here's me paying. Oh my god! We got our food and we put it in the basket. Oh my fucking god, I can't take this bitch anywhere. Anyway, we found this really pretty place next to this hotel to eat. I got myself a little cucumber. Here's our little chicken. At Family Mart, you can get these buns with tartar sauce with the chicken to make your own DIY chicken sandwich. Here's our little drink. And Calorie Mate, which contains one meal worth of vitamins, minerals, and calories for people, again, on the go. Okay, so it's lunchtime. It is currently yeah. 3.18. Tartar sauce again for today. Tartar Bitches sauce. love tartar sauce. They sponsor me, tartar sauce companies. Fucking this. Okay, shut up. Okay, shut up. I also got... <laughs> <laughs> For my drink, I got jasmine tea, the classic. Really good, really healthy, really classic, really cheap, really good, really healthy. There's already tartar sauce inside. Ta-da! You're good to go. Itadakimasu! Tastes like chicken. I'm good, thank you. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Dad, roll a check, helicopter pad, dropping off a body bag. Mm. Mm, you're trash. I'd rate it like a 10 out of 10. Like, Whoa. Really, yeah. Whoa. No cap. I have the mind of a mastermind uh -huh. and the mouth of a whore. <laughs> I have a, I have a big ass forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna fight. Ready? Yeah. Ew! Was that poop? And we were off to ride this thing. The rental bikes were honestly so worth it. If you ever come to Tokyo, please rent yourself one. We parked our bike near the Yokohama Air Cabin. It honestly felt like an airport. It was so exciting. But remember, I have to kaka every after meals. Anyway, the tickets were $10 per adult. We scanned our ticket and got through the gate. And off we go. I was honestly bored at first because it wasn't going as fast as I thought it would. But it lifted off and it was faster than we thought. We were hanging and everything was swaying. It was honestly super scary. But the view was so pretty! The ride was super short, it was about 5 minutes, and I wasn't over it yet, so I was trying to pull it back. But, if you guys know physics, it doesn't work like that. As Albert Einstein once said, E equals MC squared, where the number 2 represents the number of brain cells I have. That ride was honestly so short, we wanted to get on some more. So we decided to go to the theme park! We were stopped at the entrance because I was holding a camera, and they were like, No vlogging allowed! I was like, okay, no vlogging. And guess what I did? I started vlogging! We got tickets for the roller coaster and it was $8 per ride. We wanted to ride in the front, so we waited until the next one came. Unfortunately, you're not allowed to film on the ride. So here's a quick reenactment of how it went down. I love roller coasters, but somehow this time around I was super nauseous after. And somehow starving. So we were like, okay, it's time to go to the last convenience store of the day. My least favorite one, Lawson. Lawson is my least favorite one, not because they're bad, but because their products are boring as fuck. They rarely have new or limited edition products, so you get super boring quick. Lawson is the bitch who thinks she's cool and bougie on the outside, but has zero personality. We were starving, and guess what? They ran out of good food. We were left with scraps, the leftovers that people didn't want throughout the day. But they still had some bentos and skewers, so we got some of those. All I wanted at this point, honestly, was to go to a good restaurant and sit, but we couldn't even find a good place to sit down and eat our convenience store food. All the restaurants around were just constantly teasing us. It took us literally half an hour to find a place, and it wasn't even that good. We had to fucking stand. Anyway, enjoy the final crazy mukbang. So we got some coleslaw, chashudon, which is steamed pork bowl, a skewer, a banana, cookies and cream boucher, and oatmeal. Kenzo got a literal slimy salad. Yes, that's what it's called. Some katsudon, cream cheesecake, and pea water. It's time to eat. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so hungry. What the fuck? Oh, it's so slimy. Yeah, it's like, for me, it's seven. It's really slimy. <laughs> <gasps> We're connected. 
This is literally chicken skin. <laughs> oh my god. 9.992448692294662489886249 so 44678 out of 10. <laughs> to freedom! No, I feel like this is chicken, but. Ooh, it's also 9 out of 10. You mean 9.944? Yes! <gasps> Whoa, that looks so delicious. They have like a little. A little Uzi. Mm. You get like four pieces of pork cut. That's, I feel like it's just two and then like it's just cut in half. So it's like four. <gasps> oh my god, Bushai with oat milk. <laughs> <laughs> there's like cookies and cream, and there's like a soft cookie outer layer. Hey. Shut up. Whoa! Oh my god, this is so good. Hey. Too much processed food and way too much plastic. The carbon footprint. Oh. <laughs> Let's get it. Ah. Oh my God. <laughs>